Hi there, and welcome to this short introduction about the BPN sequencer we've developed. I think it, the first version was already three years ago, but I needed this one for a project I did recently. And I noticed that it wasn't quite working as I intended it to be, so I changed the UI a little bit and changed something in the math section, which make the calculation a lot more accurate. I'll uh, just put on a song and we'll, I will show you how it works. Okay, we'll just step along with the beat. Basically calculates the average intervals between every click. And if you're familiar with four to the floor orientated music, you know that the music evolves in certain blocks. So you have this resync button, so you can resync the first beat at the preferred moment, and that's usually after a block of 4 or 8 or 16th or 32 beats. I'll just wait for the exact moment. Six, seven, eight, click. So we can now judge the tempo a bit better. It's already lining up quite well. We have these buttons where you can increment and decrement with 0.1 or 1 beat. I happen to know that this song is exactly, exactly 135 BPM. So I'm just going to put it on 135. If you're okay with the tempo, you have this commit button. You can wait for the exact moment again or you can just press it immediately. So the visualization here starts as well. There's also a resync button. So I'm going to put it on the first beat of a block again. You see that this null also visualizes four beats, the fourth, the eighth, the sixteenth and the thirty seconds. There's another moment. So we synced it again. switch it off for now, it's a bit distracting. So you see that these blocks are visualizing the moments in the song. You find it distracting, you can switch it off. Basically separated the calculation and the output section, because if you're like, want to synchronize with a different song, you can just hit the hide button and you'll just tap along with another song if you're familiar or if you're okay with it just the commit button and it changes the tempo again you have these bending buttons i'm not sure if you're familiar with final and turntables these bending buttons basically represent like speeding up the record slightly or slowing it down so if you push it it's temporarily or while holding the button it will speed up if you release it it will slow down immediately to the tempo it will set at slow down or speed up and just like in the pre-calculation section you can increment and decrement with with these values and if you hit commit while well, this is zero this one will set will be set to zero as well I think I'm just going to put on another song to show you the workflow. It already looks okay to commit it at the preferred moment 
one, two, three, four. We think. I'm just hitting resync at the moment what for me makes sense regarding the evolving of the song itself. So the blocks will make more sense. Basically in the music follows a certain structure. So after 16 beats or 30 seconds, basically some changing in the song itself. I think it holds up pretty well. 137. commit again it sets to zero let's try a, a different genre a bit faster we think drum and bass I always pay attention to the offbeat and that's usually the snare tick 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 tack tack resync it wait for a moment pretty accurate already. We think. Well, okay, this is the um, BPM sequencer tox. It's a publicly free available tox. The patrons were already playing with this for a month already, I think. So that's the advance that you get for becoming a patron. You have exclusive content way beyond, way earlier than the public. And sometimes I'm not even sure if I'm going to provide it to the public because yeah, what's the advantage of being a patron then? But as always, you can always just support, it basically buys us time to work on different tools, different ideas we have. Maintain tools we already developed. Well, just have a look at the Patreon. It's I, I can't even remember what we've done already. There's so much. And for $10 a month, it's basically a bargain. Like all the 3D models that are on there, I sell them on the Blender market as well. And if you just add them all up, it's more than 10 US dollars. So just, you can just subscribe for one month, download everything and then just cancel it immediately. And then you are, and then you have a good deal. So thank you for watching. It's in a slightly different format that you might be expecting, but I noticed that the whole editing recording, it just takes so much time. So I just decided to do it in a different formats and just let me know if you like it if you don't uh, again thank you for watching and we'll catch up next time